Barbecue Get Me combines some of the best barbecue in the nation with the city of Fountain Valley, the first annual OC Barbecue Bonanza. A four-day event for food lovers, which featured some of the most amazing barbecue from around the country and here locally. Well, it's the biggest event that's happened in Orange County in quite a while. It's the Orange County Barbecue Bonanza right here in Fountain Valley. It's going to be a signature event for Fountain Valley for a long time to come, we hope. We're excited that this is really going on and it's going to take place. And it's the first year we've done this, so hopefully we can make a good footprint, a good footmark for the community. And this was an introduction to a true barbecue festival for not only the city of Fountain Valley, but all of Orange County as well. Food and entertainment is what we've got going on here in the park. We decided to try something new and nobody around here really does a barbecue event or a festival and so we decided let's do it and they do these all over the country and there's not really one in Orange County so we thought let's bring one to Orange County and see how it goes. This has not even been done probably anywhere in California and Fountain Valley is a perfect place We've got this wonderful sports park here and so what they wanted to do was bring the barbecue bonanza here with all the competition and say, here it is, Orange County, come and enjoy it. This year's Bonanza brought together some of the most well-known teams that compete in barbecue competitions. And all of them came out to show Orange County how barbecue is done. There's five of the world-renowned uh, vendors, if you notice, that they're behind me here. And if you look at their banners, they've been winning things from all over the place. And they take a lot of pride in winning these competitions. We specialize in Texas-style barbecue, brisket, ribs, chicken, sausage, and pork. Uh, you know, Texas has its own, its own criteria for barbecue. It's got to be good or you can't sell it. You can't cook barbecue in five minutes. It's an all-night process. It takes a lot of love and a lot of care and a lot of patience. Everybody loves barbecue. Everybody. If they say they don't love barbecue, it's just because they have not had any good. We specialize in St. Louis style barbecue uh, square ribs. Uh, we also have uh, award-winning pulled pork and beef brisket. Barbecue is very difficult to do right at home. Uh, we all have our grills and we can grill some ribs, but I think it's an opportunity for people to come out there and get barbecue done right. Where you can actually come out, enjoy the barbecue yourself, listen to some great entertainment and enjoy the day. Well, we're famous for all our foods, particularly the ribs. You know, my theory, no wood, no good. You gotta have wood to make it good. You see, don't see no smoke? It's probably a joke. <laughs> you gotta see people out here barbecuing, you gotta smell it. We cook our briskets for 14 hours, our pork butts for uh, 15 hours as well. The ribs about six, six and a half hours. It should look good, you should have a smoke ring. In certain areas like Texas, they specialize in brisket. In Kansas City, they specialize in ribs. We cook it all and cook it exceptionally well. We got good uh, Tennessee barbecue. Uh, we basically specialize in our meat. Uh, we like to cook our meat nice and slow, you know, low and slow, you know, that's the best way to do it. Tend to rise and take care of your meat, you know. We just marinate it real good, you know, keep it going to a certain temperature that, you know, we know when it's right and when it's not right. They really, it's really a big old happy family out here, you know, so once you get into it, you don't want to stop because you love it that much. Out here, you want to be the best. So the only way to be the best, you got to come out here with the best. We are a national cooking team called Porky and Bean. A barbecue festival is always lovely. Everybody come out and have fun, for kids, the older people. It's a great thing. The draw to barbecue fest to me is the competition. Everybody's putting their best foot forward to make a better product than the, uh, than the next guy is. Different rubs, different sauces. So it's a great event. You can tell by the crowd. They've been coming out and sharing with us that, that, that thoughts on how good our ribs and our food is. Ballot boxes were provided for people wanting to vote on their favorite ribs. But overall, it seemed that everyone was pretty happy with just having some great barbecue. We really like it. Uh, we like we each have different barbecue from somebody different out there. Yeah, excellent food. I've tried the ribs, the brisket, the pulled pork, uh, the beans, and the coleslaw. They've all been delicious, as you can see. Yeah, well, so far I've already ate, I already ate four ribs. Those are very tender. I think it's pretty awesome the way they have it set up. You know what you what you could buy. I like the trophies, seeing what they've won. 
Food's good. So it's worth the wait. It, that food is great. We love barbecue, and this just pulls everything together. You get it from all the different areas, and the food is fantastic. Homemade mac and cheese, that is. Here you go right here. Every rib place, it tastes distinctly different because they take great pride in hand rubs, different sauces, they make their own sauces. Everyone has a different cooking technique. There's five of the best in the world here and every one of them tastes differently, It's cooked differently. Along with the national teams, there were also some local businesses that were here representing Southern California with their own style of cooking and signature dishes. Well, today we're showcasing the uh, beef ribs, the beef baby back ribs, and the St. Louis style pork ribs. Uh, but the, the good thing that we're doing is every day that we're out here, we're using different types of wood. So it should be a different flavor infused every day, these cookers here. What's special about it is it's a rotisserie. Here, everything rotates and they get equal amounts of smoke and the temperature is consistent. And that's why my process, it's slow, but it, it comes out at an even time every time I smoke on it. So I've, I've been cooking on it every day, just having fun with it. It's called TNT shrimp, and we specialize in Cajun-style shrimp. Oh. Ours is the best. <laughs> it's the best. Nobody does what we do. We saute shrimp on the grill, Cajun-style. Cajun-style shrimp, that is best. Right here, guys. Family is from the South, and it's a family tradition. So we just carried it on into California and continued it. We here at Nail Bag Barbecue have a couple of nice things to offer today. We have, of course, the traditional yellow corn. It's a yellow sweet corn with your choice of 2,000 combinations of seasonings for your pleasure. I happened to acquire this wonderful machine back here, and I thought, how can I make good use of it? And here we are. We're enjoying what we're doing. We're out in the sun, having fun. What makes events like this great are when the community comes out to support it. So come out to these festivals. And if you're a foodie, it's a great place to try new stuff. There were all sorts of different food booths providing everyone with a taste of what they do best. There were also some fun things for the kids to do, and a number of different vendors were here providing some great shopping for everyone. We have a variety of vendors here. We have a second stage here just for kids and other entertainment and activities for them. Some carnival games and carnival rides for them. We're really focusing on some grassroots and some country style music. We also have picture booths, Sierra Mist out here today, one of our sponsors. Carrie Ambulance is showing off one of their units. Um, the food and barbecue is really the premise of why we're here. And for those who were serious about their food and barbecue, this was the place to be. The VIP Rip Village where for an extra charge they could have as much barbecue and fixings as they could handle. There is an upscale portion of the event called the VIP Rib Village. And with a ticket to the VIP Village, you can go in there and have as much as you want to eat and as much as you want to drink for a period of time. And you get to sample everything that's being cooked here. So this is kind of a one-stop shop. You go in there, you have a reserved seat, a reserved table, and best part, no lines. I actually convinced my boss that it would be a good idea to, uh, to purchase some VIP tables so I can bring customers to this event and it's a good experience for them and, and for us we can spend some good quality time together that's actually not work related so it works out real well. The OC Barbecue Bonanza drew a very positive response from those who came out to this inaugural event. It seems very popular and I'd like to see it come back. This is a great event, I mean we need to have these things more often. I look forward to this growing every year and consuming more and more of the park every year. I'm glad it's here. I hope they have it every year. Well, actually, I just might come all the way from New York just for this event, so. It's just really fabulous to have all these folks here in good old Fountain Valley. If we got people from all over Southern California coming here now to enjoy our barbecue. And they come up to me all the time and say, you hit a home run with this one. This is a great deal. And uh, you got to bring this again next year because I really like the concept they love the food, and they love the fact the atmosphere of Fountain Valley, a nice you know, place where you can live, work, and play. This was the right event to bring to Fountain Valley. This is a special community. And then because it's a small city, everybody seems to know each other. So you got to do really something to hit a home run the first time. 
and we have here. Overall, people are enjoying it. They say, hey, this would be a great annual event, and they're looking forward to it next year as we continue to you know, get bigger and better. And they really seem to enjoy coming out to these events with their family and friends. It's an opportunity for them to get out of the house, try something different. We're providing them with a unique experience, and they're enjoying it. We do have a huge public response to events like this. People are excited to come out and support the community, and it's nothing really new. We have a tightly knit community, and I don't expect to see it changing in the future. Phenomenal. For a first year event, I can't believe how many folks have come out, how many folks have stated they're happy that we're here. I think this is a great barbecue community. Folks love to eat and have fun, and that's why we're here. Sides been well laid out, well planned, some for all the family, good family atmosphere. So in regards to that, I think it's been great. I think it's fun. The kids are having fun. And we'll for sure come out again next year and probably following in other related events too. And given its success, this should prove to be an event that the city of Fountain Valley and Orange County can look forward to for years to come. Thanks for coming out.